What's good, Charm City crew? My name is Matt. I am a shoe collar worker at Charm City Run, and we are the soul of the city. We have all the hottest takes on the latest and greatest in the running world. As you know, it's 2021. Get out, get active. And today we are going to look at a shoe to charm your socks off. All right, on this month's episode of Shoes to Charm Your Socks Off, we have the New Balance Beacon version three. So this is going to be a neutral shoe. So it does not have those stability aspects. There's no guide rails, no posting, but that's all right. If you are someone who over pronates, just throw an insole in there. I recommend Curex, Atrex, Superfeet, all great options to enjoy this awesome shoe. Uh, so this is gonna be the mid cushion level for New Balance, uh, right up there alongside the 880. I would say this shoe is very lightweight, even a bouncy shoe. Uh, their ideal distance that they give on their website is a great mid distance and long distance shoe. I would agree with that. I think this shoe can really go the distance for sure. Uh, looking at some of the technology in here, we have a combined midsole and outsole with their patented fresh foam technology. Uh, this was the first New Balance shoe to do that, and I think it's pretty cool. It even gives it a cool aesthetic. Uh, on the bottom there, you'll see you've got these uh, rubber pods on the parts that your foot's going to fall the heaviest on, a little bit of extra grip, a little extra durability. just kind of makes the shoe go a little bit further. Uh, as we move up to the top sole here, uh, it's going to be stretchy and breathable, but still contain your foot really well. Uh, gives you that barely there type of feel to it. And then if we look at this heel counter here, this is something that they just changed and updated to the shoe. This is going to be called their Ultra Heel. Gives you a little more secured fit on the top of the foot, keeps the ankle in place, and gives a little more Achilles support to that heel. Uh, so. As I said before, this is version 3, so this shoe has gone through a few improvements over the years. Um, like I was saying before, super bouncy shoe. I have actually sold this shoe to a high jumper before who was looking for a great track shoe to jump in, and she said this was better than some of the specialty track shoes she's gotten. So it's really cool for that reason. I do feel like the, the mesh on the upper has greatly improved. Um, it used to enclose your foot a little bit too much to the point where the shoe was a little bit tighter, but now you get more of that relaxed feel. There's a lot more toe box room, and this heel is fantastic. It really makes you feel secure in the shoe now. You're not slipping out of the back. I haven't had any of those issues with version 3 yet, so I really do think this is their best foot forward on this one. Uh, all right, so this shoe is going to have a 6 millimeter drop and currently retails for a cool $120. Uh, if I were to compare it to some other shoes, I would be comparing it to the Hoka Rincon, the Mizuno Wave Rider, and the On Cloud X. Uh, well, without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to my fellow shoe collar worker, Karen. Let's run it! Hey guys, so I just got back from an easy run in my New Balance Beacons. Uh, this is Beacon V3, and I've been fortunate enough to buy all three versions of the Beacon thus far, and I've been a fan since day one. Uh, to be honest with you, this is one of my favorite daily trainers for probably three major reasons. Number one, the weight. This guy is super lightweight. It's really easy to just put the shoe on, set it, and forget it, and run some easy miles without even worrying about a thing. Second, I love how versatile this shoe is. I originally bought this as a shoe to wear to the track um, because of how lightweight it is, but what I quickly learned is that not only is it lightweight, but it's also really responsive. Um, so this isn't a super duper marshmallowy shoe like your Clifton or something like that. This is more like a Hoka Rincon. Um, so your foam is responsive and firm, but it doesn't feel hard. Um, and because of that, I can use this shoe for all kinds of different things from the track to tempo days to easy runs, and I've even run several 20 plus milers in this shoe and it's felt great. And then thirdly, I really like the way that this shoe fits. Um, so the original version one had kind of a knit upper. This guy still has a knit upper, but I think the toe box is a little bit better. Um, and for somebody whose foot borders on wide, there's plenty of space in this shoe. Um, so it's really easy to get a great heel lockdown on the shoe while you can still enjoy the extra space of the toe box. So. Definitely a huge fan of the Beacon and highly recommend checking it out. All right, thank you, Karen, for that awesome analysis. 
The New Balance Beacon version 3 is going to be the shoe to charm your socks off this month. So, will you and the New Balance Beacon be soulmates? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below with your thoughts on the New Balance Beacon version 3. Until the next one, Charm City crew, live, give, run. That's the mantra. Let's run it. Thank you.